we'll be telling you six incredible, amazing budget whiskey options that you need to be drinking. Every single whiskey that I'm going to be featuring in this video comes in at under $30, and then we go through all of the different categories of whiskey, from bourbon all the way to scotch. Right, the first brand I want to talk to you about is Four Roses. Four Roses Yellow Label is a bottle that comes in at about $20 the liter, if I'm not mistaken, it might be like $20 to $25. And I've been using Four Roses for many years at my bar. It is our well bourbon. It's about 40% ABV. It comes from a very reputable distillery uh, and it is decent. It's not the most amazing bourbon. It's not going to blow you away, but it's great for cocktails. It's a nice, easy sipper and one that is definitely budget friendly and also really easy to find. I love these little Lafroy Glen Cairn glasses I have. It's hard to say. Lafroy Glen Cairn. Wow. That's Lafroy Glen Cairn glass. Nice, mellow, easy to sip on. You get that almost sweet flavor from the bourbon. It's a, it's a good bourbon. It really can't complain. It's nice. It's dependable. It's nice. It's dependable. It would be a mistake if I didn't tell you about the, the Four Roses small batch, which is actually only a little bit more expensive than this, but it just falls outside of our $30 range. A bottle of the small batch uh, comes in at about $34, $35. So if you're willing to spend the $5 extra, the small batch, I really cannot recommend enough. It's actually way better than the yellow label, but the yellow label does get the job done. Keeping it within the bourbon family, let's talk about Old Granddad Bondage. Old Granddad is a bourbon that is 100 proof, meaning it is 50% ABV alcohol by volume. So this is a little bit of a stronger bourbon in terms of alcohol, uh, but it's bottled in bond. And that means that it's uh, bottled in accordance to a U.S. government statute or law that kind of basically guarantees uh, quality. It was created a really long time ago as a way to show consumers that uh, brands of whiskey were following very particular steps and adhering to certain laws to make sure that the quality was there. And the price on this is outstanding. It is again, a liter for under $25. I'm starting to use this more at my bar and restaurant. I've actually created a couple of cocktails built on this because I love the higher proof of this one. All right, let's give this one a little sip. Oh yeah, definitely more robust than the Four Roses Yellow Label. You get that higher alcohol content, which I personally love in a cocktail. I think this is great for mixing drinks or sipping on its own. It is really good and doesn't break the bank genuinely really enjoy this one. And I know I only said we were going to do five, but as a special honorable mention in the bourbon category, we have Evan Williams bottled in bond. Uh, this is a $17 bottle. $17. That's so cheap. Like you, like there are, you can go out and get a cocktail for $17. You can get an entire bottle of bottled and bond bourbon for $17. Man, I'm having a hard time speaking this episode. Y'all going to keep thinking I'm drunk. I'm not, I swear. I only sip a little bit. Definitely a great choice as well. All right, let's talk rye whiskey. The first one I want to talk about is Old Overholt Rye. It is a four-year-old rye, and the best part about it, it is $18.99, or at least this bottle was. You can get it around that price, as far as I know, across the country. It comes in at 43% ABV, so about 96 proof. All right, let's give this one a little sip. Oh, that's great. You get that nice rye spice right up front, but it's nice, chill and mellow, easy to sip on, and it's good. It's really great. It's a great option for rye whiskey. I love using this in cocktails. Now let's talk about my favorite whiskey that I'm going to feature on this entire list, and that is Rittenhouse Rye. Rittenhouse Rye is a rye whiskey that is a very near and dear place in my heart for very one very specific reason. I used to work at a place called Bourbons, where is where I really started to learn how to bartend. And this was our safety meeting spirit. So every day we would have half shots of Rittenhouse, which people would think were crazy because it's an 100 proof bottled in bond, straight rye. And so it's very spicy. It's very in your face. It just like punches you right in the face as you drink it. But to me, it just tastes like a really warm hug. I absolutely adore Rittenhouse rye. Oh, nice and spicy. Oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't make these noises. Oh, that's so, you really can't beat it. Uh, I've built entire cocktails around the flavor profile of this rye. Really great. I like, I was talking to someone that I worked with at this bar and uh, she was saying that she wishes she could get a bottle of this tattooed on her leg. And you know what? I'm right with her if I wasn't terrified of needles, so. And backtracking a little bit more, I got another, since I don't have an honorable mention in the rye category, let's go back to bourbon. Uh, Journeyman Distillery, 
out of Michigan is one of my absolute favorite small craft producers making whiskey today. On top of their Feather Bone, which is a bourbon, uh, they also make a bunch of other whiskey, like their Corsets Whips and Whiskeys, uh, which is a 59% ABV bourbon, but they also make fries, uh, they also make malt whiskey, and they just, they, their stuff is absolutely incredible and not too expensive. I believe the Feather Bone is about $36. So sure, I'll break my rule for this one because I like these guys that much. All right, moving along to Irish whiskey, and we have Powers Gold Label. I like Powers because it's under $25 a bottle. I got this one for, I think, $25, $26, and it's a really tasty Irish whiskey. You get that un undeniable Irish whiskey flavor. That malt comes right through right up front. I'll probably be sipping some before we start talking about it. So you get that rich maltiness right up front. It's nice and smooth, easy to drink. It's really great. If you've never had anything outside of just Jameson for Irish whiskey, I highly recommend you get a bottle of Powers. It's really good stuff. I cannot recommend it. All right, and finally, let's talk about Scotch. The one I'm recommending is Monkey Shoulder. So many people have told me and told me you need to try Monkey Shoulder. Monkey Shoulder comes in at exactly $30, so it's right there on the cusp of our cutoff. Um, and let's sip it first, and then we'll talk about it. Ooh. Wow, that is good. And it also comes in at 43% ABV. Monkey Shoulder, if I'm not mistaken, is a blend of three different space side single malt whiskeys. And they get this really nice and mellow and delightful flavor for $30. And Scotch is a category that is notoriously, gets really expensive. Really nice, easy to sip on Scotch not very peaty. You don't get much of that smoke at all. Really good. You can't really beat it for the price. Now, of course, I have an honorable mention for this as well. For just a couple more dollars, like two or three more dollars, you can get Glen Murray. Uh, Glen Murray is a single malt scotch that I personally really love. It's the one that I've carried in my bar for a really long time. They've been around for a very long time, and for a single malt at $32, it's not blended. So it's not like the monkey shoulder, which is a blended itself for about $32, $34. Bucks. So in terms of a single malt, I would recommend the Glen Murray. No matter which of these brands that you end up going with, I hope it shows you that you just don't need to shell out an arm and a leg and possibly a kidney for a really great bottle of whiskey. I love all of these options and I use them pretty regularly. But if you can't get enough and you want to know more of my recommendations, I have this entire other video that you can watch right over here where I tasted and ranked 30 different kinds of tequila. 